Is advanced magnetic machines the future of technology? Hello, welcome to the Tech Hand. There are many different types of magnetic machines in the world. In today's video, we will look at some of the most advanced magnetic machines that are able to do incredible things. Before getting into the video, please make sure you click the subscribe button and bell icon. Let's dive in. Number 10, Magnetic Resonance Angiography, MRA. It is a type of medical imaging test that uses magnetic fields and radio waves to produce detailed images of the blood vessels in the body. MRA machines are also known as MR scanners or MRI machines. MRA exams are typically used to visualize the blood vessels in the head, neck, chest, abdomen, pelvis, arms, and legs. They can be used to detect abnormalities in the blood vessels, such as blockages or aneurysms, and to evaluate the blood flow to organs and tissues. MRA are non-invasive, which means they do not involve the use of injections or incisions, and they do not expose the patient to radiation. Number 9. A Permanent Magnetic Motor It is a type of electric motor that uses permanent magnets to produce the magnetic field needed to generate torque and rotate the motor's rotor. These motors are commonly used in a variety of applications, including fans, pumps, and conveyors. They are known for their high efficiency and reliability, as well as their ability to operate over a wide range of speeds. There are several types of permanent magnetic motors, including brushless DC motors, synchronous motors, and switch reluctance motors. Number 8. Magnetic Refrigeration Motors Magnetic refrigeration is a cooling technology that uses a magnetic field to change the magnetic properties of a material, usually a magnetic caloric material, to generate a temperature difference. This temperature difference can then be used to transfer heat from one place to another, allowing for the creation of a refrigeration cycle. Magnetic refrigeration has the potential to be more energy efficient than traditional refrigeration technologies, such as a vapor compression refrigeration, because it can operate at higher temperatures and does not require the use of refrigerants that contribute to greenhouse gas emissions. Number 7. Magnetic Particles Break Magnetic particle brakes are a type of braking system that uses magnetic particles to create a frictionless braking system. The particles are attracted to each other when a magnetic field is applied, which creates a force that slows the motion of the object. This type of braking system is often used in industrial applications, such as in robotic arms and other machinery. The main advantage of using magnetic particle brakes is that they are much more efficient than traditional brakes. They also require less maintenance and are much quieter than traditional brakes. Additionally, they can be used in a variety of different environments, including wet and dusty conditions. The main disadvantage of magnetic particle brakes is that they require more power to operate than traditional brakes. Additionally, they are more expensive than traditional brakes and require more complex installation procedures. Furthermore, they are not suitable for use in high-speed applications due to the risk of overheating. Number 6. Electron Microscopes an electron microscope is a microscope that uses a beam of electrons to create an image of a sample. Electron microscopes have a much higher resolving power than light microscopes and can be used to image samples at the atomic level. There are several types of electron microscopes, including transmissions electron microscopes (TEMs) and scanning electron microscopes (SEMs). TEMs use a thin beam of electrons to create an image of a thin sample, while SEMs use a focused beam of electrons to create a 3D image of the surface of a sample. Electron microscopes are used in a variety of fields, materials science, including biology, and nanotechnology. Number 5. Maglev Trains Maglev trains are a type of high-speed transportation that uses magnetic levitation to float above the tracks on which they travel. This allows them to move without the friction that is present on traditional trains, which makes them much faster and move efficient. Maglev trains are able to reach speeds of up to 500 kilometers an hour, 310 miles an hour, or more, and they are used for both passenger and freight transportation. They are considered to be a promising technology for the future of transportation due to their high speeds and potential to reduce emissions and congestion on roads and highways. Number 4. Electromagnetic Launchers Electromagnetic launchers have a number of potential applications, including military use as a long-range weapon, space launch systems, and even as a means of propulsion for vehicles. However, they also face several technical challenges, such as the need for a large power source and the risk of overheating the rails. Despite these challenges, research and development of electromagnetic launchers is ongoing, and it is likely that they will play a role in the future of high-speed transportation and other fields. They work by using a powerful electric current 
to generate a magnetic field, and it can reach velocities of several thousand meters per second. Number three, magnetic levitation bearings. Magnetic levitation bearings, also known as magnetic bearings, are devices that use magnetic forces to support and stabilize an object in a stationary position without any physical contact. These bearings can be used in a variety of applications, including in transportation systems like maglev trains, as well as in industrial and medical equipment. Advantages over traditional bearings, including the ability to operate with very low friction and wear, as well as the ability to operate in extreme environments where other bearings may fail. However, they can also be more complex and expensive to manufacture and maintain, and they require a reliable power source to operate. Number two, synchrotrons. A synchrotron is a type of particle accelerator that uses electromagnetic fields to accelerate charged particles to very high speeds, where they can be used for a variety of scientific and technological applications. They are particularly useful for producing high-energy x-rays, which can be used to study the structure of materials at the atomic level and to investigate the properties of matter under extreme conditions. Synchrotrons are often large and complex machines, and they require a significant amount of power to operate. They are typically operated by specialized research institutions and they are used by scientists and researchers around the world. Number one, induction heating machines. Induction heating is a process that uses an alternating current to generate heat in a conductive material. It works by using electromagnetic field to induce an electric current in the material, which generates heat due to the resistance to the flow of electricity. Induction heating is often used for industrial applications such as hardening, forging, and melting materials, as well as in the manufacture of ceramics and other materials. Induction heating has several advantages over other heating methods, such as the ability to heat only the material material being treated and the ability to heat materials very quickly. It is also a very efficient and controllable heating method, making it useful for a wide range of applications. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Let us know in the comments that you subscribed and what you think of this video. We'll reply to you personally. You can also give a thumbs up. Thanks for that.